YouTube, what's up? What's going on with y'all? Got some good news. I know y'all already seen the title, but yeah. It happened today. Got rid of that old international. Finally got into a freight liner. That's what I've been wanting. So I'm definitely excited. And this joint is new. Well, it's a uh, 2021, but it's new to me. I know you got cats out there getting into a, um, a 23 and, you know, 22. But this joint right here is clean. It ain't, you know, all ragged out. The drive, whoever had it, they didn't stay in it long. So, had to post a video so y'all can see what's going on. A little update, you know. I was going through it last week uh, with that international, which I ain't gonna really talk too bad about international because overall it was a good truck. It was just the ABS light and what else? Just minor stuff. Like I ain't, I ain't have no breakdowns to where I had to get towed out of nowhere. So I really can't complain. I like that Cummins motor anyway. This joint I got now, I got a Detroit in it, so I'ma see what it's hitting for. It's a uh, Cascadia. It's a nice truck. The, the steering is different. Like, it feel like a feather, man. It's, it's light. The steering wheel is like, you know how like sometimes if you got a car, old car, like power steering fluid, need power steering fluid or something. That's how it felt when I was in that uh, international. At the time, I didn't know how hard it was to turn the wheel. Like, it, I was used to it, I guess. But when I got in this right here, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is just a little tour of my new truck. I'm gonna give y'all something so y'all can see it. I know I didn't show y'all the international, but that joint was old and beat up and I ain't even like staying in it. So I was like, ain't, ain't nothing to show, but these Cascadias, if you come to the company, try to see if they got a Cascadia available for you. Like this joint was hard to get into because uh, it was one of the newer trucks and it was guys at the yard looking at it. So after I show you a little bit on how, what it looks like inside of here, uh, I tell you the, the story and in getting into this joint, but uh, I can't flip my camera. so. I'm gonna turn it like this. I, I still haven't figured it out. But that's the dash. I gotta get used to that dash too. But you see the, um, I like that joint. Got the date, the time. Look at that low mileage on there. This truck, new. And um, let me show you. Camera wanna point to me. My tablet, I like how my tablet like right here now. Like it ain't all the way over here, but I can adjust it if I got to. Yeah. Guys in the seat, got these nice seats. Look at the seats. Now I ain't gonna lie, I really didn't even feel like making a video, but I was so happy. About this dog on truck, I had to come show you. I had to show y'all real quick. I'm tired, that's why I ain't been making no content. But uh, this joint right here, I love that light up there. You can dim it or make it bright. It's it's mad space in here. Like the uh, that's the steps. You got like a ladder for the top bunk. I put the top bunk up. I couldn't put it up in my old truck, so I was definitely feeling that. Got some new mattresses. And this joint, this joint like that. Let me show y'all the light. So I can go super bright on that joint. I don't even need my light to uh, make videos. I might, but that light is it's plenty of light, probably too bright. And I could turn off the um, dimming light. Just use that joint. I 
I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I got a new car today or something. <laughs> but then I got my controls over here. Everything worked. Like I said, this truck brand new. It got the vents. It don't have like the um see I get some more light. It doesn't have the windows like the international have, but I'm cool with it. Open that joint out this way, that way. Then you got all kind of cabinets. And I just threw stuff in here because I had to hurry up and get in this truck quick as I could. Um, yeah, got cabinets over here. Don't judge me. I'm gonna I'm get it together. I just had to move in fast. And then this mad space. Let me see. Can I show you about how much space in here? I'm six one, and I got I got long arms, so. I ain't even touching nothing. Up top, you got mad space in here. Uh, you can't, and it really don't do no justice on this camera, but like, this joint got mad space. But anyway, so I went to the, I called my um, DM and I asked him, I was like, oh, I gotta get out of this truck because the ABS light keep coming on. I took it to the shop and it's pretty much doing the same thing so he was like um yeah we're doing away with the 2019s anyway they've been giving people problems and uh he was like if you get routed close to here then uh you can come get a truck so i was like all right um and he was like if not just come monday or something being that uh, i don't work on the mondays so um Today, Friday, I went and dropped my trailer off at the Walmart DC and went and got me a truck because I was like, you know what? I don't want to use my day off being at the terminal, coming back to the terminal, trying to find a truck or whatever. So I told him to send me a list of what he had. He only had two freaking trucks, which um, one of them they sent me wasn't on the yard. The other one, it had transmission it was losing air from the transmission or something like that. So, um, I definitely won't take it. Nothing with no lights on. If it had a light on, I'm not taking it. I did a pre-trip on this joint thoroughly, but I had to hurry up. So, he had another Freightliner. It was supposedly two, two internationals and one Freightliner, which I wanted the Freightliner. And he called me before I could even get back and was like, scratch that, um, Scratch that freight liner because somebody's in that somebody seated in that truck already. So um, that was that didn't make sense. I'm like, where they at? Like, are they on the truck with a trainer or like where they at? Like, nobody was. I looked into the truck and everything. It was no personal belongings in there or nothing. So it was kind of making me frustrated. And he was like, I was like, well, do you have anything else? Because I'm not gonna take another truck with the light on it or whatever. And he was like, yeah. Um, Oh, he was like, hold on, let me see. So then he looked, and then he gave me the truck number to this. And I'm like, what is it? Is it a internet so I can know what I'm looking for? He's like, no, it's a freight liner. So I'm like, okay. So I'm excited, hung up the phone, looking around the yard, can't find it. It was, apparently somebody had to quit. So it was like up where you, in the Bobtail area or whatever, where you park the truck set, like if you're just going home or something. So... I went up there, it was a truck parked right in front of it, hooked to a trailer. And uh, so I got out my truck, knocked on the door, made sure nobody in there or whatever. And um, dude opened his door out of the truck that was parked in front of it. He was like, hey man, I'm on the phone with my DM right now about this truck. I said, oh no, I'm already, I already got this truck. He was like, oh you do? I was like, yeah. He was like, oh, okay, nobody's in there. So yeah, I had to, <laughs> I had to snatch that, which my DM, he gave me this truck number, so like I was like, nah, like 
And then he was a trainer and he had a student on the truck with him. I think he was trying to get a truck for a student. So I was like, definitely not. You about to uh, have to ride the hoopie like I had to, bro. So anyway, it's a little short video. Give you a little view of the uh, Cascadia, man. Like y'all know what the outside look like. It ain't no dents and, and dings or none of that. Like I wanted one of the gray trucks, but it is what it is like i wanted something new and i got it man so all that stress last week is gone now i can run i can you know put my refrigerator my uh microwave save money because i've been eating out like crazy so i can put all the stuff that i need in here um yeah that, that, that's what really got me excited because i went out and bought a cb radio and it didn't work in the other truck. Like the wires were ripped out. It didn't have an antenna. And you know, I had a microwave that uh, my mother had gave to me. And I ain't even try it out in that truck because I'm like, man, I'm not bringing all this stuff on the truck and it don't work. So now I can put that microwave in there. Shout out to Mom Dukes for hooking me up. And um, what else? Yeah, my refrigerator. And this joint rides smooth. The seats feel good in here. Like, it's just nice. Anyway, like this video. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. Um, I will be dropping some content soon. Uh, I'm a stay consistent. It might not be every day like I would like to, but um, I'll be back, so stay tuned. Peace.